Or, or yeah, make a post on Facebook. I wonder if more people will come to mine than yours. Probably. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Ah, uh, library. Let me know when you're done. Huh? Don't read no! Well, that's on the same channel. Yeah, but those videos are already on Facebook, so it's fine. Okay. And that video oldest. You know, it's old. Way old. We good? I good. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. Well. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall Give me a second one. I demand second. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. Oh no. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Ghosties. <laughs> nah, there's no ghosts. I'm a god. First, they killed the king. No. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. It just said winged creature. I just realized that, Next, but it doesn't. Oh, Sarfog, and the I guess an owl, probably. Up from the underworld, I was thinking it. I thought it was referring to the snake, and then I'm like, but you know, that don't got wings. Of the fabled glass relics. Beep. The king's guard fought bravely. The castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Ooh. Oof. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned so by small. their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in the clearing and safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. Oof. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. 
Nice! Never get accustomed to the burning. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she be needed most. I think your mom's here. Well. Glass. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. Bird is determined to eat her face. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would Hi. soon close, <laughs> and night would follow. Do -do -do. My day job is to cut grass. I feel like this is blurry on my eyes, but... This game is moss. Oh, yeah, moss. I'm reading the chat for flight. I can see it on the thing. I know, I see it too. But I'm looking at the clock. You're playing as a sort of god and a mouse, so... Wholesome game. Game, I know what to do. Do do do. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, pull it out. <laughs> Dang it, we didn't get the high five. What I live for. This playthrough, my goal is to get all the dust because I didn't get it last time, but I think there was some around the snake. But then I'm like, I don't want to get the gut dust if there's the snake around. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Stay woke. So small. This is gonna be a super entertaining gameplay. Right? No, it's not. I don't know. I've already played it, so... I know where most of the stuff is. Except all the dust! I don't know where that's at. Which is irritating. I thought I got it all last time, but I guess not. Gotta bring 
You gotta break every single jar. I thought I broke every single jar. Every single wagon. Well, I thought I did. I mean, I'm usually wrong, so. I wonder if you can go that way. Probably not, right? But it looks like you could. Go. What? I didn't want to pick her up, I wanted to pet her. No, my eyes! No! Stop. <laughs> You're messing with my... You're messing with my eyeballs. No! You're making it hard to play! Yeah, well, so you're just affecting my whole vision. So does it mess with just one eyeball? Or? It messes with the gameplay. Yeah, it needs both of them to be facing towards because it, it picks up where it's at based on the lights on here. I'm gonna get all that dust. Don't be in the hit zone then. Yes. I need to get this achievement. <laughs> Where is it? They didn't give it to me. It's not there. It's not. Is it just because I already have it on this account? Where I pet her till I annoy her. Oh, is it three times in a row to annoy her? Cause I already annoyed her. Look out, you're in her way! The most thrilling gameplay. <laughs> no. Just... I. This doesn't work. I already have the achievement. She likes it until it gets annoying. Nah, I think I already have it. Don't look at me, mouse boy. Oh, yay, we're going. What? What?
I'm a mouse, how dare you? She is a small, pure bean, and I love her. That's my girl! Getting them squirrels. I did it. It's almost like I've never done this before. Yeah. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. I assume it's your mom's phone number. So aesthetically she raised the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. You gotta be able to get back there, because there's that stick you can break. Here's the problem. It wants to text the number or call it. I gotta be able to oh I can I see where I need to go. Yeah, I can get over there, I think. Hello, squirrel. Alright, what's the email on it then? There is no email on it. Well, then I can't play it online. It, but there's that stick over there. No. Whatever. Look on the cottage. My eyes! I tried to get around it. It just you wouldn't did. let me. I did. I went. No, you did. I did. Linda! <laughs> Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know. Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange, magical. What? Or her? Oh. Playing with monies? No, not money. Quill's hands trembled as she showed It's in your wallet. Right. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Over there, I think. Where did you find this? Lord Uncle Argus. Will had never seen her uncle so shaken. Nah, no, I'm not sure then. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started. Where's the cloth at? Uncle Argus followed her motion. Yeah. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very well and very dangerous. He said, No, concerned. no. If I could take this burden from you, I would. It looks better when it's far away from my face. Has chosen. <laughs> Don't toss it at me like a cheap slut. Right, I must go right away. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go. What? It is for your own it, safety. Yeah, 49. And for yeah. everyone here. With oh, I owe you a penny? No, you're fine. <laughs> heartfelt heart told him he was heading for danger. <laughs> oh, John. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I there. need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. 
the squirrel steed. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep nope. into the night. Dang it. Nope, uh-uh. That's the wrong path. What? You hit the wrong button. No, I've played this twice now. No, you haven't. I have. I'm a professional. I played it. I have, yeah. I know what what I do. I do, Linda. You know, that fairy is hey, like, over here. hey kid, want to buy some drugs? Hey, your uncle went. Like, yeah. Or get in my van, I have candy. You're too full now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. Here, to them. Quill called out. Hey, Starling, wait! Don't follow that creeper, Quill. It's a bee. It's a, it's a No, I don't think you can get it out. I just got Linda, you're in the hitty range. Ah. Quill had never met a starting. I think this is where I missed some of the dust. They often meddle in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared. I don't go this way, but it looks like I could go that way. Well, it's like, no, we can't go that way. Uh, it's magical. I don't know if they're fairies. Oh no, the acorns! I don't know. I guess not. I don't think those give you dust anyway, though. Oh. Oops. Well, anyway. There were those crates there I didn't see before. No. This is a dust gameplay. We're just here for the dust. Am I supposed to get those ones, though? I think you walk past them, though, before you can get to them. What are you doing? Trying to hit That's those... Forward. No! <laughs> I guess you can't get them. I'm trying to hit those boxes. No, oh, she can wait. What? Where you're at. What do you mean? Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, who knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her? Will demanded answers. Starling, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Uh -huh, the fairy leaves me constantly. Where?
She ditches me all the time in this game. Trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. She's talking about me. She's trying to lure me into her van. Well, I was promised a Snickers, so and hard not to. There's me. Well, no. You should see Zach's gameplay of this game. It's funny. He really likes that gum. The deer's not gonna do anything. Watches. He goes back to his business. That's what I'm eating for this adventure.
on the other side is the Maya. The starling is sure there. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Whatever. It means my death. The squirrel steed! No! Don't get to take him with us though, I see. Did you hear that? The starling seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just see? Don't go and die. You don't go and die on you? You're leaving me. I'm a mouse. Cunt. No, you're you're fine. My little. It does that so it can show you how to heal them. She did. Uh, Moss does sign. Well, Quill. Her name is Quill. She does sign language. She doesn't talk to you. I guess that makes sense because she's a mouse. You're welcome. That'll be me this whole gameplay. I'm trying to find the dust. Well, I don't think so. Maybe though. It's too late now though. deserved it. Nah, I don't think there's anything behind that rock, but now I'm paranoid. Nah, I think it's fine. If not, I'll replay a chapter just to get the dust. A 
whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. Find this. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there, too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Beta thundered back. It was Argus who summoned Mom. us here, and now I see why. Mom. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's ah. knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. Hmm. And do you dare to cross into the Maya with our glass? Sarfag will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them. First. Take these weapons uh, made for the mighty the purest bean. who died so that new people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle twofold before the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Bad. You're She's fat you. and moist. Come now. The reader has chosen its hero. Then he must write their story. I love <laughs> Veda replied with the frost of the mountain and vanished into the shadows of the mire. There's a mouth moist. In the face. Yeah, he, still he likes it. He, he does. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> that. <laughs> he doesn't like the play, he just likes to nibble it. Dang it, Quill, you just had to put your sword away. Sword? Sword? Ah! Ah! What's a sword? Y'all rude. Me and my speech impediments, y'all disrespectful. <laughs> Bandit. Ow! That hit me right in the ear. So that hurt. So, thanks for that, uh, discomfort. Oh, well, I can't get this jump either, and, you know, getting hit in the face is, uh, <laughs> not fun, especially when this thing's on my face. Yeah, it still hurts. 
as this uh, thing's on my face again. Hmm. Well, you did. So, so. How do I? Yeah. Broadcast settings. Right there. 